Hi. I am Leo. In this video, I will show you how to make a photo mosaic from your pictures. We will make a photo mosaic like this one. Let's zoom into this mosaic to look at the individual picture tiles closely. For making the photo mosaic, I will use Turbo Mosaic software. Turbo Mosaic is available as a free download for both Mac and Windows computers. You can go and get it from www.turbomosaic.com. Let's make our first photo mosaic. First, open Turbo Mosaic and set a size for our mosaic. You can select from a list of sizes. You can also set the size by specifying dimensions. In this example, I will use a 48 inches by 36 inches size. You can make mosaics as large as 45,000 by 45,000 pixels using Turbo Mosaic. I will now add the main picture for this mosaic. But before I do that, let me explain what the main picture is with an example. Here's a photo mosaic and the corresponding main picture. The main picture is the picture that we're trying to create from other pictures. Let's close these and see what are the properties of a good main picture. Open the help page on Turbo Mosaic website and go to the section on their recommendations for a good main picture. Here are some examples of bad main pictures and good main pictures. Basically, a good main picture will have a large subject and good color contrast. Whereas, a bad main picture will have multiple small subjects and little color variation. Let's go back and select a main picture for our mosaic. We will crop the main picture to focus on the couple's faces. Now that we've selected a main picture, we will add tile pictures to our mosaic. This will take some time, depending on the number of pictures we've added. I will quickly skip over it. We've added 286 tile pictures. You can add as many as you want. A large number of tile pictures with a broad range of colors work best. Now let's generate our photo mosaic. Great. Turbo Mosaic has finished creating the mosaic. Let's zoom in to see how tile pictures are placed. Our first photo mosaic is ready. Let's export it to a JPG image. You can also export it in PNG or TIFF image formats. Let's open the exported mosaic JPG. You can easily print the exported JPG image using a local printer or a printing service of your choice.
Before I explain some other Turbo Mosaic settings, I will show you a couple of small but useful features. To crop a mosaic tile, click to select it. And use the Crop tool. Notice the crop tile picture. You can also place a picture in a specific tile. You do this by dragging the picture into that particular tile. And, you can easily exchange pictures in two tiles. I will now explain some Turbo Mosaic settings, that'll help you customize and take your mosaic to the next level. Before we move ahead, if you find this video useful, please take a moment to like it, and subscribe to our channel. By default, the photo mosaic uses square cells. But, you can use the cell size setting to use cells that are not square. I will explain this with an example. Let me open a sample mosaic. Notice that the tiles in this mosaic use a 3 is to 2 aspect ratio. Let us take a look at some other settings. By default, the picture tiles are joined together. But, you can also add space between tiles. Once you've added space between tiles, you can set a color to fill this space. As of now, we're using black color. Let me change it to white. You can also show the main picture in the space between tiles. Basically, the tiles are placed in front of the main picture, which shows through the space between the tiles. If you want, you can use a transparent background. In this case, export the mosaic as a PNG file, not a JPG. Because the JPG format doesn't support transparency. Let me quickly undo these changes. I will now explain the color matching settings. The Turbo Mosaic algorithm will find the best match for tile pictures with the main picture. Still, you might not like the result. You can improve the result using color matching. Some tiles in the Photo Mosaic may not match the main picture well. Cell colorization tints these tiles to match the main picture better. Let's undo this. You can use the main photo overlay to partially draw the main picture in front of the mosaic. Let's try this out. Let me again undo this. This option is self-explanatory. It ensures that every one of the tile pictures that you've added gets used in the mosaic. I will now explain the cell mirroring setting, with an example. Here's a zoom mosaic. If you notice the two highlighted tiles, they are the same picture mirror left to right. The cell mirroring option allows using the original tile picture or its mirror image, whichever matches better. If you turn cell mirroring off, only the original tile picture will be used in the mosaic.
Let me now explain the duplicate spacing option with an example. Here's a mosaic with a duplicate spacing set to zero. Duplicate spacing of zero means that the same tile picture can be used next to each other. Notice that the coffee mug tile picture is used in adjacent tiles here. Let me open another mosaic with duplicate spacing set to two. Let's zoom this mosaic. If you notice, the coffee mug picture has at least two different pictures in between. This is because this mosaic has a duplicate spacing of two. We have already seen how to make a photo mosaic with square tiles. I will now quickly show you how to make a photo mosaic like this with diamond shaped tiles. And a photo mosaic that's made from circular tiles. At last, I will show you how to make a photo mosaic that uses hexagonal tiles. Select the diamond cell style to make a photo mosaic with diamond shaped tiles. Generate the mosaic. Let's zoom into the generated mosaic. Select the circular cell style to make a photo mosaic with circular tiles. Generate the mosaic. Let's zoom into the generated mosaic. There are two options for hexagon tiles. Let's select the first. and generate the mosaic. Let's zoom into the generated mosaic. Let's now select the second hexagon cell style. Generate the mosaic. Let's zoom into the generated mosaic. If you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe to our channel.